Hello, you will be making something like this. Hello, I'm Rob's Wolf, and in this tutorial I will show you how to make a simple explosion in Sony Vegas Pro. I'm using version 11, but this should work with earlier versions like version 10 and version 9, and more. Now to start off with, you're just going to drag your footage onto the timeline. I don't need the audio track, so I can delete that because there's nothing interesting to listen to. But as you can see, it's just me showing you the hairbrush and then throwing it and then getting out of there as if it's like a grenade or something. Now first off you're just going to want to go through your video track holding the right arrow key, we'll go through it frame by frame. Find the point at which you want it to explode. So I say I think a little bit after I get out the shot. Then press the S key to split it at this point. Now because the hairbrush landed behind the duvets you will need to, um, or I'll need to mask out the duvet, so the explosion comes from behind there. So right click, create a new video track, make sure that's on top of this one, you don't want it to be underneath like that. And then copy this last part, paste it on top, align them. Then go to event pan crop, which is this funny little square here. Tick the button by mask, and then go around it. Because the explosion comes from around here, I need to be very neat with this bit but the rest of it I can be fairly rough with so like that, but from here onwards I need to be quite neat with what I'm cutting out otherwise it won't look right okay so I've gone around the bit that really needs doing neatly so I can just kind of rush this last bit now Obviously you would spend more time if you were doing this yourself because you obviously won't be shooting a video that looks exactly like this. You won't have my bed, etc. Go to feather type, choose out. Don't choose both because otherwise it feathers it inwards and starts to cut off bits of the duvet. Choose out. If, by the way, if I tick, sorry, if I click the exclamation mark here, that'll put it on solo so you only see this top track. And you can see how I've masked out the duvet and feathered it up a little bit, just one or two will do, just one will do actually. So it's not quite such a rough cut. <coughs> and then I can close that, take solo off. So now that, that doesn't look any different at the minute, but it will do later. So right click here again, choose insert video track, drag on your explosion. Now I know that this explosion is quite... Um, Sorry, I'll just render this by dragging this grey bar out and then pressing Shift and B. I know for a fact, you can see already it's coming up behind the duvets there. I know for a fact that the explosion, I think it's in a bit of slow motion so it doesn't look quite right properly. But now I've got best space. You can see how when it plays, the explosion is quite slow doesn't look right. So I'm just gonna, if I go to the edge here of this track of the explosion and hold control then I get wiggly lines which means when I drag it it'll speed it up. So now it'll only take that long. Once again render it by pressing shift and B. Rendering always takes a few seconds depending on how complicated the special effects are. Play it me showing you the hairbrush, I throw it, I get out, and you can see how the explosion now looks more realistic. Obviously we don't want the black of the explosion to be there, so we can go over to the compositing mode, which is this kind of funny A on a green box, and choose screen. Now what screen will do is it will cut away the black. You can see now how it's quite faded, so if we can do this a very simple solution. If we just right click on duplicate the track, then it's much bolder and you get a stronger explosion. So that's really all there is to it. You want, you can add sound effects. So right click down here, insert audio track, drag on my explosion, speed, uh, slow it down a bit so that it fits. Shift and B. 
By the way, try not to fiddle too much with speeding up and slowing down video because it tends to get really glitchy unless you have a high frame per second camera, like 60 frames per second or 120 or higher than that and stuff. You can see now how I play it. That looks quite good. Now the only last thing I need to do as you can see how if you listen the audio ends quite abruptly so I'll just fade go to this corner where there's a blue triangle and I get these arrows with a kind of quarter circle I can just fade that by like a second or something let's play that again and now it fades out and it sounds much more realistic you could go further by adding smoke again just position that with the zoom with the event pan crop and then of course use a screen I did try this yeah, compositing mode screen. I did try this with smoke, with but I didn't think it f looked right for the scene. But also when I duplicated it, it looked too too thick, too unrealistic. So generally don't duplicate smoke unless it doesn't look strong enough. But smoke isn't that strong, so it should be fine. Really. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll just play, render this and play it. There we go, I'm very happy with that. Once you're done, just go up to render as, also in file, render as. Thanks to you for watching, see you next time. Hello again. Hello there, I'm Rob Wolf, and in the tutorial you just watched, well I hope you I hope you just watched it, I forgot to mention two very important things. Where I get my stock footage from for the video, and where I get the audio stock footage from. That was awkward. I get the video stock footage explosions and stuff from a website called Detonation Films. They have a lot of free stuff that just explodes, that just blows stuff up. Like that. Then most of my sound effects come from freesound.org and they've got loads of good stuff like gunshots for example. It's like... They have loads of stuff like explosions for example. So yeah, that's quite big. What else can we have? Footsteps, maybe. So they, they have pretty much everything you might want. Oh, my eye. I get my music from a website called In Incompetech and Kevin McLeod, I think that's his name. Kevin McLeod, Kevin McLeod. Something like that. Something like that. <coughs> he writes this music, as far as I'm aware. Then puts them on his website to use in your videos or whatever. And it's royalty free so long as you put them in. There you go, you have to put that. I don't know if you can see that. It's like Creative Commons, blah 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 blah. So here's loads of good stuff. Like. Here, here has loads of stuff. You, you, get, you get the idea. So, um. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope you learned something from the tutorial. Yes, thank you for watching. Hopefully we'll see you in my next video. Blah, blah, goodbye, I suppose.